she not going to Texas and she not doing this. But word on the street is you you done made your way back to Texas. Hey, girl, welcome to Texas. Welcome back. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's all I mean, hold up. Ooh, I hold up. Ooh, I you know what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying, it's la la me, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, you know what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying, it's la la me, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, you know what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying, it's la la me, hold up, out there is doing good and great i hope everyone is keeping y'all hands washed sanitized wearing y'all face masks and basically stand out of the way before we jump into this reaction video just let me say just in case your post notifications is not doing what they supposed to be doing i do ask that you hop in your whip hop in your hoorah go ahead take that cruise on over because i do have them reaction videos uploaded okay also y'all let's check that notification bell make sure your notification bell is set for all or however you choose to have it set also y'all let's check that subscribe boy make sure it's set for subscribe and not subscribe because y'all already know at the end of the day yes youtube will unsubscribe you and as I always say, y'all, before I jump into my reaction video, my thoughts is my thoughts and my opinions is, yes, they are mine, okay? And that's just what it is. Um, so anyways, y'all, let's jump into this reaction. So, live life, trying to be in competition. I hope that she have learned from trying to trying to be in competition and trying to compete with people and trying to outdo people and show people up like, hey, y'all feel like y'all got it together, but look at me. I am on here. I am doing my thing. I am better than y'all. I am 30. And guess what? I bought my own house at 30. Oh, okay. You want to sell lashes? So guess what? I'm going to hurry up and jump on it and get to it before you can even get to it. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm that bitch and I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to get to somewhere about snaking everybody what she should have learned what she should have learned from all of this y'all is at the end of the day competition gets you nowhere okay it gets you nowhere but out of your element out of your spot out of place okay and th th that's the thing you look at her now and saying damn look where competition has landed you okay she got in that mommy on a group y'all but she got in there with a motive and i tell y'all that every time she had a motive she had a motive of i can take what they have and since everything didn't work that way now she feel like okay i'm gonna show these bitches up because i'm gonna go buy me a house everything that she get on here and put on youtube streets she wanted to look good and sound good and also make it seem like she is better than everybody mm. And see, that's the thing. When you carry that around right there, you will forever fall. And sometimes you will fall right in front of everybody. And that's what happened to her. Now, she is the talk of the YouTube streets because it's like, girl, why did you have to lie and you still get on here and saying you keep it 100 and you are real? Where? Okay? Everything that you got on here and saying that you was being real about has fell apart right before our eyes. You get what I'm saying? Um, and what's crazy to me, y'all, I don't understand is, and I'm confused, how do you move out of your comfort zone, which is your forever home, you understand? And now you're staying in a... I mean, I don't even know if she in a hotel, but she was in a hotel. And now it looks like maybe she could be in an old ass apartment to me. I'm just saying it's crazy because I don't get it, you know, and then you get on here and you still talk trying to trying to still talk the big talk and the good talk, you know, 
I don't have evictions on me. Nobody kicked me out of my house. No, none of this. Well, what happened? It wasn't like you just, well, I don't want to stay here no more. I want to go. No, you had to go. And how we know you had to go because your house was put on the market so whole fast. Now, if that was a planned move and something that you wanted to do on your own, it wouldn't have been on the market so fast. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you had to go. And it's crazy because now I feel like she is jealous and she feel a certain type of way just just at these ladies because now that you're in your situation it is nobody fault it is not people on youtube fault it's not the reactors fault it's not the mommy on a member's fault it's only yours okay you dug yourself in a hole you did that and you still on here trying to talk big talk and come after everybody when at the end of the day this is your situation you got on here and she talked all this talk about her husband and she not going to texas and she not doing this but word on the street is you you to made your way back to texas hey girl welcome to texas welcome back um she done made it back to texas I want to know what is your purpose of you coming to Texas for what? You know, the only reason I can get is because your baby daddy was here. But if that is the case, why you just didn't make that move at first? Because you thought you was going to sit on your platform and talk bitch shit, make your shit look good, and, and, and talk down on him, and I'm on here, and I'm good, and I'm finna jump into big and better things, but you didn't jump into nothing that was big and better. If anything, you jumped off. You leaped off. We looking down. Yeah, you jumped off. You jumped off that bridge, and now you have landed, and now you want to be mad at everybody. You also getting on here on Instagram, and you going back and forth with your, your subscribers. At the end of the day, you ain't gonna have nobody that's holding you down. You ain't gonna have no supporters that's, that's going to have your back. You're going to be up here stuck alone. And that's how I feel like you is anyway. Nobody wants to fool with you, period. Not even your baby daddy or your supposed to be husband. You know, you're one of those type of persons that you can only deal with you for so long. And then after that, you got to cut loose. You got to break ties. You got to say goodbye. Okay. Because that's how you carry yourself. You know, you would never get far. And that's why you in the situation that you in now. And what's crazy to me, you can't always drink your problems away. You, you, you come from drinking out of wine glass and a cup and all that type of stuff. Now you just drinking liquor out the bottle. Hmm. Are you trying to drink your problems away? You can't drink your problems away. You just can't, you know? It's like you on YouTube and you have a platform, okay? And you have done everything on this platform to, to get to 100K. You wanted, She wanted to get to 100K so she can look at the other ladies and say, hmm, look at me. But now, instead of that, everything is crumbling and slowly falling. Everybody say when you say live lies, they know you are that liar. And what you say is you don't like people that get on here and call you a liar. Well... You got to call it what it is. Everything that you have said that you have been loyal about, you haven't. And you still on here capping and trying to talk big talk like you got it. How is it that you had to move at your home, move from your home and go live in a hotel, then from living to a hotel, I don't know where you're at now because it's, 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 it, it looked kind of funny to me. I want to say it's a hotel, but I don't think it's a hotel. I feel like she, she done got herself an apartment, but... I don't know, but she done done all this, but then she get on here and try to say, oh, I spent a thousand dollars on shoes. Well, I mean, to you, that might sound good, but to everybody else on these YouTube streets, that sound very dumb and very stupid. I mean, how can you get on here and say you spent a thousand dollars on shoes? Like what shoes are we buying here? Who are we buying shoes for? What are you bragging for? You spend a thousand dollars on shoes when you barely have a pot to pee in. I'm just saying, y'all, and that's the that's the truth. Like, like, 
Everybody know that you struggling live life, okay? You got on here and you talk about this saving account, your saving account, your saving account. Shit, it looked like everything you had, that's all you had. And we don't know how much you were saving, but you tried to make it seem like, oh, I've been saving for my house for a long time, so I purchased my house, but it was a lie. You, you ain't saved shit. So you went into a house being broke anyway, and you left that house the same way you came in broke on your ass broke mm -hmm. and the only reason you really not going on youtube is because right now <laughs> that wi-fi you using is terrible hell i believe you and chrissy sharing the same damn wi-fi so you can't get over here and throw jabs at the next person because guess what look at your shit look at your shit now mm-mm-mm that's all I can say. Live lies. How much she done lied and now she coming on here drinking liquor from a bottle. Who drinks liquor from a bottle then chase it with something else? Like what's really good? You gonna, you gonna turn yourself that's if you're not already an alcoholic and I remember everybody saying like dang Gerard is gonna have her turn into it. No, she's gonna turn herself into that because that's what she's doing right now. She's trying to drink her problems away, Okay. She trying to drink them away because she knows she got on YouTube and she done did all this mess fronting and lying. And now when I think about live life, y'all, I don't believe shit she have told us. I don't believe shit about her relationship. I don't believe shit about her marriage. I don't believe nothing. Because if you get on here with something that nobody asked you and you thought she thought that she was going to run this shit, she was going to run it. <laughs> Run it. I'm doing good. I got my own house. And you ain't never had shit. And the bad part is, how do you come from, you know, my forever home, my comfort zone, to landing in a hotel? Hmm. Now I kind of see why you drinking liquor at the bottom. I'll be embarrassed. I feel less than, okay? Because I tried to sit up here and be in competition with all these women, okay? Because guess what? She is that Trump supporter. So what she thought is that she will get far. She will outdo them. She will take from them and get where she needs to be. And it reversed. It turned on her, okay? It didn't work that way. That's why right, right now, because she's in her situation and everybody is calling her out, she's steady focused on mingling, dingling, lingling. She's steady focused on Chrissy. She's steady focused on them. Why is you so worried about them? You know, let them do their platform and you do yours. You know, right now, it doesn't matter how many evictions that they have got. Look at you. We just don't know the outcome of why you had to move yet. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't because you just felt like you wanted to. Or, uh, let me go to Texas. Let me go to an apartment. That wasn't the reason why. There's a lot of reasons behind why you had to move. So at the end of the day, while you point your finger at them, you are no better than them. And I've been said that before. How you make your shit sound just like you tried to expose them but didn't want to tell shit on yourself like you better than or you fall from a different tree. No. All y'all in there together. You can't talk about them because guess what? You're about the same. I just ain't never seen them leave from a house. And go to a hotel and just, I ain't never seen that. Hmm. But you still want to be in competition. You still want to compare and say, I'm that bitch and I'm this. Right now, that you're not. Hmm. I still want to know, you said you weren't going to Texas. What did you come out here to Texas for? Hmm. Because you, you found out nobody wanted you. Hmm. Or you found out that you can't make it without your husband or your baby daddy. But now you realize he he's on his own shit. He's trying to do his own shit because at the end of the day, live lies. Nobody has time for the nonsense. Not at all. OK, people are going to get tired of the foolery. OK, they're going to get tired of it. And I don't blame Gerard. 
If he talking to somebody new, more power to him. I wouldn't look back, but just stay there and take care of your kids. But let her do her thing because she have dragged you. She have dragged you. And you can't say, oh, I love him. You don't love that man. You got her here and tried to drag him to the fullest. Now I understand why he picked this shit up and he left. And don't look back for you. And then now you want to say, oh, he wants to mess around. Live life. Stop it. Nobody wants you. The only person wanted you was your baby daddy or your husband. And you ran him off too. Hmm. Hey. I guess y'all. I don't know. Anyways, y'all. If y'all like this video, let's do the thumb. And if y'all have not, it's y'all Back, run.